This week's video is going to be a Halloween edition in which I'll talk about the looting of the royal tombs of Saint-Denis in the years 1793 and 1794, a chapter which occurred during the height of the Reign of Terror during the French Revolution. From the end of the 10th century until the French Revolution, the Basilica of Saint-Denis, a few kilometers northeast of Paris, was the burial place of almost all French kings. After Dagobert I, who was closely associated with Saint-Denis, the first king to be buried here was Hugo Capet. Almost all French kings followed in an almost uninterrupted series. The only exceptions were the three kings Philip I, Louis VII and Louis XI. The last king to have been buried in Saint-Denis before the revolution was Louis XV. In addition to the kings themselves, many of their family members were buried at Saint-Denis. After the storming of the Palais des Tuileries by the revolutionary masses on August 10, 1792, the revolution quickly radicalized. The provisional government ordered the melting down of all monuments dating from the time of the Ancien Régime. It was decided to open and destroy all royal tombs and to use the metals obtained mainly from the lead coffins to create bullets for the purposes of the Revolutionary War. The Benedictine father Germain Poirier is considered the most important eyewitness to the events and prepared numerous reports, among which a report on the exhumation of the royal corpses at Saint-Denis in 1793. Between August 6 and 10, most of the statues and funerary monuments in Saint-Denis were dismantled. Some of them were transferred to the Musée des Monuments Français in Paris, but most of them were destroyed. After this, the actual exhumation of the dead began. Workers descended into the Bourbon burial vault where 54 oak coffins were placed. Then the doors of the crypt where the kings and their predecessors rested were hammered in. The bodies of the royals were found in different conditions, some of them decomposed, some of them almost completely crumbled to dust. Some of the embalmed corpses were preserved and some of them were in such good condition that they were displayed to passers-by in front of the basilica, for example the body of King Henri IV. The body of King Louis XIV was also very well preserved, but it was said to be black as ink. In some cases, a macabre devotional trade with the remains developed, and many of those involved in the action took souvenirs or relics from the grave. In total, the remains of 170 people, including 46 kings, 32 queens, 63 princes of royal blood, 10 royal officials, and about two dozen abbots of Saint-Denis were removed from their graves. The remains were thrown into two pits dug outside of the church, sprinkled with quicklime and buried there. After the fall of Maximilien de Robespierre and the end of the Reign of Terror on July 27, 1794, the desecration of the graves finally came to an end. During the Bourbon restoration after 1815, the bones and mortal remains buried in the two pits outside Saint-Denis were recovered and, since they could no longer be assigned to individual royals, they were buried in a common ossuary in the church's crypt. Also, the remain of Louis XVI and Queen Marie Antoinette, who were not previously buried in Saint-Denis, were transferred in a solemn ceremony on January 21st 1815 from the Cimetière de la Madeleine to Saint-Denis and placed in individual graves in the restored burial place in the Bourbon crypt. The destruction during the Reign of Terror has to be seen in light of the radicalized political situation and the military oppression of the young republic by external powers. From today's perspective, however, they are classified as cultural barbarism, desecration of graves and vandalism. Many other cultural treasures and first-rate cultural assets, especially from the French Middle Ages, fell victim to destruction during this chapter of the French Revolution. 
This concludes today's video. As always, thank you very much for watching and I wish you all a happy Halloween.